Okay guys, once you have your cluster disassembled, which there's a million videos on YouTube to show you how to do all this. We'll show you, we'll put it on the end real quick so you can watch it if you need to. But once you get your cluster apart, what you're looking for is these two dudes right down here. Okay, these two right there. These are surface mounted resistors, which means there's no corresponding solder joint on the back of the board. What happens over time, they just heat up. And once you have to go in and you just touch them with your solder gun, you can load your tip of your solder gun with a tiny little bit of solder if you want, but really not that necessary. And you go ahead and you just re-solder those little resistors back down to the board. And then we'll take it to the car and show you the results. And to check your work, just go ahead and put the circuit board in the car and plug it back in. Don't worry about reassembling everything just quite yet. You have to put your top panel back on so you can plug in your, your lights and your dimmer. But if you've done everything right <clears throat> and resoldered those two connections, your mileage comes back up. And because of the glare, let's see if it's better to see if it's harder to see. This one's 84,427.5 miles. There's a triple odometer. Reset it back to zero. It's total hours, 3,751 hours. 84,475 miles. And once you confirm that everything is working perfectly like it should, you can go ahead and reassemble and put your car back together. All right, then reassembly is just the opposite of disassembly. So if you haven't watched the 10,000 videos on how to disassemble this Crown Vic cluster, here's how it goes in reverse. That's your component side, and that's the back side of the gauges. This is held in by a series of clips around the border and a couple in the middle here. And it just basically it just snaps in. Okay, real easy. So to take it apart, you just pry the little clips away, pry up on the board. Just try to be somewhat gentle with it and it'll come right apart. And once you put the board in, don't forget your protective back covering here. Just a layer of plastic film that protects the back of the cluster from getting any contact with anything that it doesn't want to be in contact with. Just lays right in there. Then you flip your cluster over. Kind of remember where you put them when you took them apart. So when you put them back together, they'll work properly. And you just feel where that little pin is. and press down. Easy, easy, easy. Anybody can do this. And when we plug this back into the car before we bolt everything back in, we'll make sure these gauges are working normally in their normal position. If we need to adjust, we can just adjust at that time. That's it, guys. Uh, real simple, real easy fix. Good way to make money if you want to, but very simple repair. All right, thanks. We'll talk to you next time.